Hey what is up guys Akash here back with another video and recently when i was building uh, my using my raspberry pi a uh, raspberry pi top that is a laptop type of thing i got the idea of making this tutorial so i was uh, using for my pi top a couple of batteries in parallel rechargeable batteries and uh, of course as they are rechargeable and uh, they were in parallel so i got this problem and uh, yeah to which i figured out a solution maybe it's on the net from some long but yeah it's new so what is the problem for the problem i've got some stuff for which yes we have a a type of dummy stuff okay so for example we have these two batteries which are rechargeable and for the example we have a bulb of of 1.5 volt so let's say that this bulb is like this yes okay and this bulb takes in 1.5 volt and at 1.5 volt this glows perfectly so yeah it glows perfectly at 1.5 volts but we need some good power in our device and we want some more juice each battery is 1.5 volt so we can not use a combination of series because it may blow we i mean it will not blow we can use resistors etc etc but yes for now we have to attach these two batteries in parallel so for that let's take a situation which will be a failure uh, so for example we will be attaching these two batteries to the bulb so here is the bulb and to the further charging circuit so here are the two batteries so for example we take negatives of both like this and positives of both like this so i better donate positives with a red sign this goes into the bulb like this and yeah this is plus volt this is plus and this is also plus for the charging circuit this goes for charging yeah plus 1.5 volt this is in for charging and for the other side of course one terminal goes to the battery like this and the other goes to the charging for here in and this entire setup is grounded so this is the traditional way you may think of that yeah we have these two batteries in parallel when we switch the circuit on this led will glow and when you charge the come when you charge the current will come like this like this will come in here in both of the batteries and these batteries get charged and when you want to use the juice from the batteries it will flow in the reverse order and the bulb will glow so the bulb glows again our yellow marker so but there is a problem while using rechargeable batteries in this case so for example removing these and uh, taking a green marker for the batteries yeah so here we have the green marker 1.5 volt and here we have another green marker sorry for the bad drawing but yes so these are the two batteries and here is the bulb so now coming to the problem suppose this is say 5 out of 5 in health and this is 4 out of 5 in health so this is weaker this is weaker what will happen when this is not connected and this is not connected and these two are in parallel this will act as a charger and this will act as a load of this battery so because of this being weak the current will flow like this and uh, yeah like this and due to this flow of current this will be in time charged and this will be discharged and this because of this being weaker it will more discharge further and this will charge it further and yeah due to this long long cycle both the batteries ultimately would die of power without doing anything without lighting the bulb 
or without getting being charged so this is what the basic problem is of these this cycle we have to prevent this cycle so this is the problem and we will not use this circuit diagram we will be using a new circuit diagram so the problem is cured by four of the diodes so here we have the four diodes the rest of the apparatus or the setup you may say remains the same with a bulb and two batteries and four diodes so let's check the circuit diagram of this uh, thing out so suppose this time i'll make the batteries a little bit neater and smaller so suppose these are the two batteries this being plus this being minus this being plus this being minus and we have the positive terminals like this instead of directly connecting we will use diodes so here the diodes will play its role and further we will be connecting these normally like this and yeah like this so that is the discharging circuit and the of course the ground will be connected normally as we had done it earlier so this being the ground this will go to the bulb circuit also and to the charging circuit also this time we'll make the circuits right in here and we have another thing let's change the color for the so we take this side and we take this side here other two diodes will be plugged in in reverse polarities like this and further will be connected together like this and will be led here so plus 1.5 volts this will be in like this and yes that's it and this will go and the other one of course this one will go here and will go to the bulb so this is the bulb so how is the problem solved right now here we have 1.5 volts each okay so this is the charging circuit when we deliver power current comes in like this like this splits up into two branches goes into two branches charges the leds uh, sorry uh, the batteries individually without any problems not so whatsoever and thus the ground being the circuit gets complete and the batteries get charged while discharging this these two diodes are in active state and this leads the current flow like this like this like this like this and there you go the bulb switches on and the circuit being complete by the ground the current comes in like this and yeah all that stuff so how does this problem this problem gets solved in this so while this is not connected and this is not connected sorry this is connected this is not connected and this is not connected the reverse flow of current is not possible because there are two connections from this battery so here we again take this battery to be powerful and this one to be weak so this battery gets discharged over time and this battery has to plug in power to this so only way for current to go outside this battery is using this branch one and not two because in two this diode is in reverse bias and no current will flow in like this all the current flows in from here and can go only go only to this way and not here because this by uh, this diode acts as a reverse bias stoppage so it will not go in here so this cycle is not possible that is the basic idea of installing two diodes in series with these batteries and in the charging time because if we had not placed these the current would have led its way to this battery from this battery like this so that is a pretty hodgepodge manner uh, but that is what the circuit is i'll simplify the circuit down so this is the very simplified clean circuit diagram i have made 
out of which these are the two parallel batteries this these can be of any values so yeah so here we have uh, to the positive uh, terminal we will have two diodes connected head on that is one's negative and one's positive so one can act in forward bias and one in reverse bias the one in forward bias will be in conducting state from this side and will conduct current and this will be the output the out and this will be its input because current can only come in and not go these diodes are basically acting like valves in a tank so current can come in through this and can go out through this so that is the basic logic of this and yeah use it add four diodes or four rupee or what you may take it for extra money and that is it that will extend your battery life in this sort of situation when it's rechargeable and yeah this is the tip uh, which i will be delivering today that is it thanks for watching if you liked the video give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel if you haven't till now this is akash signing off